Hello, I'm Richard Pritchard, today on World of Animal Sport. Exciting action from Sunningdale with the finals of the Flamingo Golf Open. We'll be talking to surprise leader Tiger Woods. We asked him what he thought of using flamingos as golf clubs. This was his response. There go right! But our main event this afternoon is coverage of the tug of war from the banks of the great grey green greasy Limpopo River. Our reporter, Gordon Golfer, is Riverside. Gordon, what's the atmosphere like there? Hello, Richard. Welcome to the banks of the great grey green greasy Limpopo River for this monumental animal tug of war. I spoke earlier to the current world champion, the crocodile. Crocodile, we appreciate you taking the time to speak to us during what must be for you. Quite a tense time in your preparation of the tug of war challenge. How do you feel? I am feeling fine, Gordon. At this stage, I am fully prepared and ready for the challenger. And how has the training been? I've been mostly training myself to look like a floating log, Gordon. This has involved long sessions of lying in the water, trying to get my head into an attitude of logginess. It's mostly psychology, getting into the right frame of mind. In fact, in my latest book, Crocodile Tears, I reveal the anguish that years of training has burdened me with. It must have been difficult for you. Yeah, yes, Gordon. I- excuse me, I've got something in my eye. <laughs> ah, thanks to Crocodile for speaking to us then. And we remember his father, the great innovator of the sport, who posthumously has become a big influence in designer luggage. I spoke earlier to his coach, the bicolour python rock snake. You trained Crocodile's father. Have your years of experience been of any use for Crocodile in his training? Absolutely the contrary. I have with much anxiety been dispatched from Team Crocodile. I must say that I deplore the commercialization that Crocodile has brought to this noble art, and am vexed by the manner of his contemporary attitude. Is it true that you have accused Crocodile of copying your training style and remarketing it as his own? It is indeed so. I have been acknowledged as the leading expert in pretending to be ropes, fallen branches, and training vines. The the walking leather suitcase there clearly plagiarized my concept, and I shall be pursuing an action against him. Thank you, Mr. Bicolored Python. Well, I'm just hearing in my ear that both contestants are now ready, so let's pick up the action bankside. Well, what a surprise that was, ladies and gentlemen. A turnover and victory to the underdog, Elephant's Child. I can see the crocodile is none too pleased about the decision. Is he arguing with the referee? The referee is showing him a red card. And the crocodile's none too pleased about that. He's eating the card. And he's eating the referee, too. The crocodile has eaten the referee. Incredible action here, Bankside, today. I wonder if we can get a word. Crocodile! Crocodile! We can see that you are none too pleased with that decision. Tell us your reaction. I was robbed, I tell you. Robbed! That referee should have his eyes checked. Here, yeah, look, I think I've got one of his eyes stuck in my tooth. You tell me, was that a fix or what? There was definite interference from the snake. I'm going to file a report with the match officials. Would those be the officials all cowering behind that fever tree over there? Yeah, that's them. Excuse me. Hey, you! Hey! <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Crocodile not happy with the result and trying to make the match officials see his point of view. Let's see if we can speak to the new champion, Elephant's Child. Mr. Child here will not be speaking to the press at this time. I am his agent. The crocodile was very unhappy without the result. Can you comment on his allegation that Mr. Child received some assistance from the bicolored python rock snake? We categorically deny any interference from the snake. And the referee saw that Mr. Child was the new champion. 
Crocodile clearly overreacted, and once they have finished running away, I'm sure the surviving match officials will be taking steps against him. What steps do you think they'll be taking? Large ones, Gordon, judging by the speed the crocodile is catching them now. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a surprise result here in the animal tug of war. And although Elephant's Child has been declared the winner, I'm sure that his nose will never be the same. However, based on his performance today, any challengers can expect a good spanking. Back to the studio. Thank you, Gordon. I'm Richard Pritchard, and this is World of Animal Sport. We'll be back after the break.